Well, I've cleaned up and painted the strut um, and the stub axle and the hub. I bought some new bits. I bought a new set of circlips, dirt shield, bearings, um, and obviously a, and a new, new nut. So th this is just showing how all this will be put together. Right, the assembly sequence is, first thing I'll do is put on the circlip, then the um, dirt shield, which has to fit over there. And then I'm gonna press this bearing on. It goes round, it's this way round, so there's like a protrusion this side. I don't know if you can see that. So that protrusion there, that's up that way. I guess that's why they've got the dirt shield because there's the back side of the uh, seal in there, so it just protects that. I thought this was a bit of an odd way to put it round, but it's um that's I checked it, that is the right way round, same as the old ones that came off. So that needs to be pressed on there, so I use the uh arbor press for that. Now to put the side clip on. That's on, it's in the groove. So the next operation is to the next operation is to put this bearing in here. I've heated up this casing a bit with a hot air stripper, um, and hopefully it should go in pretty easily. Yeah, I didn't even have to use the lever. I just used that. Use my hand. Let's um, start a bit with a bar just to make sure it's sitting down. There we go. In. Now for the retaining circlip. Regular viewers will know I hate circlips, especially big ones like this. Let's give this a go. I'm sure it's going to put up a fight. They normally do. Oh, let's try the... They're not really big enough, those. There we go, done. When they go, they go. And the next thing is that's gonna go through there. Now, as you can see, it goes, it goes in quite easily. So it's about half depth. I think what I'm gonna do is put a bit of bearing lock on that. And then I'll go over to the um, arbor press and press it in. I don't want to put too much on if I ever have to get it out again. I don't know what I should do. It's 614 bearing lock, medium strength. going in pretty easily. There we go, that's it down. 
Right, another poxy circlip, which is not as accessible as the other one was. So let's see if I can get one side in and then Yes, oh, getting better at this. That's it. So there we go, done. So the next thing is now to put the hub on with this, this peg. So I'm going to put the peg in first. Yeah. So there's the pig in there. Right, well, let's stick it in the vise and torque it up. Right, hundred to hundred and ten foot pounds. There you go. There you go. Job done. I'm now going to put the damper in, the nice new dampers, a pair of Spax adjustables. I'm just going to put some copper slip on this because it's aluminium into steel so um, yeah, again it will weld itself to, together so hopefully this will stop that don't need very much just a little coating okay. It's a very fine thread this, I don't want to get it cross threaded. So it's definitely made helped it go in. Let's finish it off in the vise. Well, there's both that uprights so um, fully assembled, dampers are in now, and um, they're all ready to go back in the car. Obviously, I have to put the springs on and the, the um, bump stops, etc., etc. But I won't be able to do that until I've sorted out the uh, top mounts on the on the chassis. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you got this far, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you can. And of course, you can always buy me a copy. There's a link in the uh, in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Mm hmm.